I'm sure a lot of you have heard the saying, what's old is new again. Apparently Samsung really likes that statement because they took their older Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and basically re-released it. So we're looking at the Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition. Starting price on this is $350, but it's already on sale $50 off. I mean, this one does have a different processor. It's got a Snapdragon 720G instead of the Exynos processor, but it still has four gigabytes of RAM. 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. Nice thing is this one comes with Android 12 One UI 4.0 right out of the box and it's finally making its way to retail stores in the United States. This one is Wi-Fi only but I believe there's an LTE version as well. It's got a 10.4 inch 1200 by 2000 LCD display 7040 milliamp hour battery fast charging up to 15 watts and is available in the same colors pink, blue, and the one shown here is gray. Stereo speakers, tuned by AKG, also has Dolby Atmos. Actually, if you look up the specs for the older Tab S6 Lite, they're gonna be almost identical. Good thing is it comes with the wall adapter and the USB-C to USB-A charging cable micro SD card or SIM card removal tool, quick start guide, terms and conditions, and you've got pretty much the identical S Pen that came with the original S6 Lite as well. Nice metal material here on the back. Again, pretty much identical to the original S6 Lite and still pretty nice build quality even in 2022. Power and volume buttons there on the right hand side. Same eight megapixel rear facing camera there up in the corner. Nice to see they kept the headphone jack on this one. And then you've got your speaker on each side of the tablet. USB-C charging port there on the bottom. Looks like the same startup screen here as well. I kind of wish they would put 2022 edition. I don't know, something on here so that you know this is a different tablet. Not really sure about this screen here. It looks like it's extra bright here down at the bottom. Hopefully that's just how it starts up. When setting up the tablet, you're gonna get face recognition, pattern, pen, and password. This is dual band Wi-Fi, so you've got 2.4 and five gigahertz. This might be the first Samsung tablet I've got where I see an issue with the display. It seems like it's extra bright along the edge down here. I don't know, I may have to return this one, see if I can get a better version. You can sort of see when I turn it landscape, there it's on the right hand side. Some colors are gonna show up more than others. If you're familiar with other Samsung tablets, this one's gonna be very similar. You've got the Google Discover newsfeed, or you can change that to Samsung Free as well. Notification shade has changed up here a little bit as far as the style. You're gonna get most of your basic stuff like Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, auto rotate. Uh, you've got airplane mode, power saving, location, screen recorder, quick share, Samsung Dex, smart view, nearby share, eye comfort shield, dark mode, and do not disturb. You've also got call and text on other devices, Dolby Atmos, and scan QR code. They've got a few other options here that you can add as well. You get your shortcuts over here on the right hand side and you can modify that and put just about any app over there. You've also got your S Pen shortcuts here, create note, view all notes, smart select, screen write, live messages, AR doodle, translate, pen up, and you can add quite a few other shortcuts there as well. They pack in a lot of features with the S Pen, always nice to have on a Samsung tablet. And then you've got a few pre-installed apps here, your typical ones from Samsung, and then a few from Google, Microsoft. And the good thing is, it looks like you can uninstall some of those apps. So at least they give you that option on some of them at least. Nice thing is you can do a little multitasking on this, split screen, you can also connect a keyboard and mouse, and you can even use a lot of the accessories that was made for the original Tab S6 Lite since they're the same dimensions. Good thing is it's got Samsung DeX. Bad thing is you can't use this with an external monitor. 
You can watch up to 2160p or upscaled 4K resolution on YouTube videos. You're also gonna get full HD playback on apps like Netflix. So as you can see from this Geekbench testing, both single and multi-core scores are definitely higher than the previous Tab S6 Lite. So at least there is some improvement there. I also feel like the performance on this might be a little bit better than the Galaxy Tab A8. Now, unfortunately, I found another issue with this tablet. At first, I thought it was an Android 12 thing, but for some reason, it won't play Asphalt 9. I tried uninstalling, reinstalling. I did a restart. I'm not sure, something weird is going on with this tablet. I've never really seen this issue before. Good thing is it seems to play PUBG Mobile at HD graphics, high frame rates without any issue. It also will play Apex Legends Mobile. The graphics don't look the best on that game, but performance wise it actually does fairly decent, especially for a more affordable tablet like this. Luckily, there's still a lot of games on here that I think most people are gonna enjoy, even if I can't get Asphalt 9 figured out. Luckily, there's a lot of other good racing games. Another nice improvement with this tablet over the previous version is it's got a little bit better battery life. It lasted about seven and a half hours in my battery drain test where the previous one was only about six hours. So that's something that's always nice to see. You get one speaker on each side of the tablet, plus you get Dolby Atmos. It's not gonna sound quite as good as some of the Samsung tablets that have a quad speaker setup, but still pretty good sound uh, for the price you're paying. Let me give you a quick audio test just so you can get an idea of how this sounds. The audio is gonna be pretty much identical to the original Tab S6 Lite. <laughs> Inside the camera app, it's pretty simple here. You've got portrait, photo, video. Then in more, you've got pro, food, panorama, hyperlapse. You've also got Bixby Vision and AR Zone as well. Then for video, you can shoot up to full HD, 30 frames per second, and that's gonna be on the rear and front facing cameras. So pretty decent quality for a cheaper tablet like this. But let me give you a few samples of photos and video just to give you an idea of what to expect from this 2022 edition. Surprisingly, taking photos with this tablet is actually better than I expected. The shutter speed is a little bit slow and it seems to lag a little bit, but if you have decent lighting, you can actually get decent photos with this, unlike some of the other affordable tablets out there. I'm surprised they didn't move the front facing camera to the long side versus the short, but I guess it's not that big a deal. And if you had to use this for Zoom meetings, video conference calls, it would probably do good enough for most people. So hopefully this video gave you a little closer look at the new Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition. If you have the older S6 Lite, I don't know, it's kind of tough to say you should get this over that one, unless you just want better software support and slightly better performance. But for anyone who didn't get the Tab S6 Lite before, I think this is a pretty solid option. Definitely pretty good for the price, especially since it's already on sale. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.